Thank you. What have we got here? There you go. <laughs> True. Yeah, that's it. Good. There you go. <laughs> I love you. I love you forever. Abby, do you mind taking the kids, please? Yes. Go with yeah. Daddy, okay? Let's go. I've kicked you out once. Don't make me do it again. Oh, I forgot to wish you a long and happy future. This makes perfect sense. Well, I needed to see it from myself. I'm smart, not buying the cow. Just leave, please. You've had a chance to offer your well wishes. I'd be happy to escort you out. I'm sure you would, Jack, but we thought we'd stay a while. Excuse me. Let's do this. Word. If you think that your little stunt would ruin our day, once again, you've overestimated yourself and you've underestimated me. Oh, I guess maybe my feelings were just hurt. That I wasn't invited. I mean, the whole family's here. You have no power over my happiness, Adam, and you never will. Who's that? My uncle. I heard he was back, but seeing him in the flesh is kind of strange. Yeah. Oh, yeah, him showing up to start trouble is no surprise. Yeah, but what the hell is he doing with my mom? A commitment ceremony? Victoria knows this is gonna crash and burn. She is sparing herself the humiliation of a third divorce. You know, Phyllis, your wall of anger is solid, but this miserable loneliness is shining through. You're both gonna end up as miserable and lonely as I supposedly am because you sabotage and you self-destruct. That's what you do to every bond you've oh, no, ever no, had. Oh, no, no, that sounds exactly like you if you had pathetic and vindictive. What are you doing? Bringing the one man here that I can't stand to see. What happened to you? What happened to the woman that I knew? You know what? She's gone. You. The Abbots. Every single person who's betrayed me beat that woman to death. So what you see now is a woman rising like a phoenix from the ashes. Get out. Go home. Go anywhere. I don't care. And take your sidekick with you. Why would you do this? With Phyllis of all people? Hmm? Well, I thought you'd be happy I came. It's all a joke to you? After I've done everything in my power to bring this family back together again, after handing you the keys to Newman Enterprises, you spit in my face, after everything I've done. Yeah, that is the thing. Dad, you haven't done nearly enough. Darling, darling, please. We'll talk about this again. Thank you, Victoria. Okay. Let's go. Come on. Hey there, buddy. Do you remember me from the other day? I'm Adam. Let's go find your cousins. Don't ever do that again. What? Talk to my son? I mean it, if you go near him. Oh, okay. No need to get into it now, Nick. Because one way or another, Christian is gonna end up with me. And then we'll have all the time in the world to talk. Your threats don't intimidate me. Well, they're not threats, facts. Oh, okay. Here's another one. Leave now. I'm gonna throw your ass out. Oh, caveman. Strong. Now, that is the problem with you, Nick. You're always playing checkers. Yeah, look at me, Adam. Do I look like I'm playing? Okay, okay. Emotions are running high. This is not the time or the place. No, that's all right. I'm just giving my brother here the option on how he would like to leave, huh. either on his own two feet or at the tip of my shoe. I think you have worn out your welcome. I would appreciate it personally if you would turn around and walk out. 
Sure. I've made my point. Enjoy the rest of your day. One intruder down, one to go. Honey, do you want me to go talk to Phyllis? No, no, I don't want you to get in the middle of it. Thank you, though. Abby, how are the kids? They're with their grandparents. Thank you. You know, I can't help but wonder when Twisted Mind came up with this idea. Was it Adam hey, or Phyllis to come here today? Hey, look at me. It's okay. I think it's not okay. They just... It's okay. Adam and Phyllis did not ruin our day. I got to profess my love to you in front of the kids and everyone that we care about. So let them fester in their negativity. They're irrelevant to our big picture. Nobody's gonna come between us again, okay? I love you so much. I have what more to say. No, you do not. What you did last night was bad enough. This is even worse. I don't want to hear it. We well, you know you're going to. Because, Mom, I know that you are hurt, but this has to stop. You are making a fool of yourself, and you're burning every bridge that you have, and it is breaking my heart. Yeah, and you feel sorry for me? You know what? They should have kicked you out the second that you walked in with Adam. Really? That is perfect. You're siding with the Abbots over your mother after what Kyle did to you, throwing you out the way he did. It was not like that and you know it. Why can't you see? The Abbots are fickle. The opportunists. They're only loyal to themselves. And make no mistake, Billy and Jack will leave you like roadkill the minute you overstay your welcome. They will make you the fall guy and blame you for their mistakes. And when they do, and believe me, they will. Who are you gonna have left besides me? She'll have me. Nick, you need to stay out of this. You know that's not gonna happen. What's going on? Well, Mom decided to launch a Jabot Collective knockoff company to get revenge against the Abbots. I'll take it from here. Mom, I just... Talk later. When are you gonna quit lashing out and dragging your daughter into your quest for revenge? You gonna lecture me on revenge? Why don't you tell me why you think you're better than me or for Adam, for that sake? Don't drag him into this. No, really, tell me, why are you so sure that you're the good brother and he's the bad seed? If you can't tell the difference between me and Adam, then you have lost all grip on reality. Adam and I are judged on a whole different scale than everybody else. I'm just saying that his point of view, I agree with on certain things. Well, it's because you're pretty much the same person. You know, you always view yourself as victims, never the attackers. You're able to do mental gymnastics to justify your actions, whether it's beating a murder charge or destroying your daughter's career. I don't think you know what you're talking about. No, actually, I'm onto something here. You and Adam are two of a kind. You are selfish and immoral, and you don't give a damn who you hurt. I mean, take a look around this room. Look around. Do you see any friendly faces? It's because they all know what I'm saying is true. We all see you and Adam for who you really are, Phyllis. How does that feel? about everything. Well, I usually am. Yeah, well, I'm all in. 